So Crisis is a long-awaited shooter from Germany's Crytek and EA, and ever since we first saw it about 18 months ago, everyone wanted to get their hands on this game because it just looks amazing. Of course, the big questions surrounding Crisis were, you know, whether it would actually be a great game and whether it would actually have those great visuals. It turns out that the answer in both cases is yes. Crisis is an impressive, amazing first-person shooter that makes you feel incredible while you're playing it. In Trisis, you play as a special forces operative who's dropped into this Pacific island to rescue a bunch of scientists from North Korean soldiers. They took over the island, you don't know why. And so you're exploring the island and the entire point of Crisis is it's kind of sandbox gameplay. You're dropped in these gigantic levels, you're given an objective, and how you pursue those objectives is kind of up to you. You know, you can attack head on, you can sneak around. To help you, you're clad in this high-tech nano suit, which basically lets you switch between all these different powers. You have armor, which lets you absorb a lot more bullets than normal, uh, speed that lets you zoom around the map real fast, strength, which lets you pick up guys by the neck and hurl them, or, and then you can also cloak. Between the ability to kind of go everywhere in the level and the ability to cloak and have all these powers, you have a lot of latitude in Crisis. The game is beautiful but destructible, so you'll be running around the woods in a gigantic firefight and watching trees being cut down around you, um, explosions from grenades hurling dirt in your face. Um, it's just an incredibly immersive feeling. The weapons at your disposal will seem pretty familiar to you if you play a lot of shooters. You have your assault rifle, you have your shotgun. One of the cool things about Crisis is that you can mod your weapons on the flies. You can add little adapters to them so you can have a silencer or a grenade launcher and other things, uh, different sights, depending on how you want to play. The gunplay also just feels really good. Uh, if you're trying to engage a target 100, 200 yards away, which you can do in this game, um, it's difficult, just like it is in real life. You know, this is a game that actually makes the gunplay feel authentic. Um, Crisis kind of starts you off with these, you know, infantry battles, and then the game starts escalating. Um, there's just a lot of really cool things that you can do. There's a gigantic tank battle where helicopters and jets are flying overhead, and you can jump in and out of vehicles. It looks unbelievable. Then you kind of get to the sci-fi element of Crisis, and here's kind of where the sandbox mode of the game ends, and it turns into this thrilling first-person shooter where you're ba battling for survival against, you know, an unknown menace. Uh, you'll explore the alien spaceship environment. Um, it's zero gravity, so it's like you're battling underwater against these strange aliens that are darting around you. You get out of the alien environment and the game suddenly changes. Um, it's no longer lush jungle, you are now in a frozen paradise, everything's frozen, and you're trying to get out alive. So there's a lot of battles against alien war machines, you're racing to get to you know, the evacuation point. It's, it's amazing. This, this game has so many cinematic moments like that where you, it just throws something else at you you weren't expecting and it looks spectacular doing it. When you're done with the single player game, there's a very cool multiplayer mode called Power Struggle and it kind of combines the best of the Battlefield games with Counter-Strike, which has an economy. And it's, it's a really great mode with five gigantic maps to play on. Crisis also has a deathmatch mode, which is a lot of fun, but at the same time, there's a missing a team deathmatch mode, which is a weird omission. Uh, but still, you know, there's a lot of stuff in multiplayer to keep you busy. Crisis is the best looking game to date. It's amazing, it's incredible. There's no words to really fully describe it. It's the kind of game you want to bring your friends over to let them look at. It's almost photorealistic at times. With that said, um, it is a hardware hog. Um, it runs really well if you have the latest CPU and GPU, although you probably might need to tone down the resolution a bit, but even then it looks incredible. If you have the absolute low spec machine and you're playing it at the minimum settings, it's playable, you'll get the experience, although you're missing a lot of the eye candy. Um, there's gonna be a lot more pauses. Um, you're gonna have to have a high tolerance for like frame rate struggles. But this is a game that pushes the envelope in terms of computing technology like no game in recent memory. 
Crisis is easily one of the very best shooters ever made. Um, it pushes the technological envelope, it pushes the gameplay envelope, it raises the bar for every game to follow when it comes to pretty much everything. Graphics, gameplay, interactiveness, AI, um, it's, it's amazing. If you've been looking for that killer app to justify the next big hardware upgrade or a new PC, then that game is Crisis.